What is good Ape Nation, it's StockJ back with another video and in this one I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock which you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to do some in-depth technical analysis and give you guys my price prediction for Monday based off what the charts are showing and based off what the data is suggesting. I'm also going to break down what the outlook for AMC looks like for next week especially as we have CPI coming out and how all of this may affect AMC as well. Now before I get started with anything, before I get into any more details, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you sign up for mumu with the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 10 free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars and the best part is out of those 10 free stocks five are going to come from the wheel right here so you can win five free amc shares five free tesla shares or a mix of all of them it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just two weeks so please check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so amc is up about 12 percent as of right now pretty nice move to the upside that amc finally got and i'm sure a lot of people made money on their calls or whatever they were trying to trade and also the overall market is looking a lot better as of right now so the charts are looking pretty bullish right now if we look at the sentiment that's now starting to shift and we are seeing an uptrend being respected that's a very good sign for the markets, but for AMC, I do think this will help it out pretty smoothly. Now, another thing I want to talk about for next week is for Ape and AMC, they are looking pretty good, but I'm a little bit cautious because we have CPI coming out. It's going to be coming out on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, so before the market opens. Uh, it's going to happen on September 13th, once again, on Tuesday. So what does this mean for the markets? Well, it really depends on what CPI really shows us. If CPI comes out as really, really bad and people don't like what they're seeing, if CPI is still very high, the market could take a bit of a hit because it could point towards the Fed becoming a lot more hawkish during the next FOMC meeting in September. If that's not the case, if the market doesn't really mind it, if CPI starts to come down and we already know what the Fed is doing as the market is already priced in much of what would come from a 75 basis point rate hike from the Fed, things are not going to be that bad. And I really think that that's not going to have that bad of an effect as of right now. So until then, right, we have all of Monday to come. I do think that the market's going to continue to push up just a bit more. And I do think we have a little bit more room to keep going. If you look at the overall trend on SPY, we can see there is this downtrend that SPY was respecting, lots of choppy price action. We're going to bounce off that 388 level, and since then, we've been just pushing and pushing and pushing. The volume is looking a lot better, and overall, SPY is just improving to a T. So anyways, if I go back like this, we can see that the SPY ended up kind of like bouncing off this zone right here. And to send the SPY is making a higher low. So that's a good sign once again. And we could actually see SPY continue to push to the upside from here. And it is looking a lot better than before. Now on the daily, like I mentioned previously, we got that 1348 EMA cross. We got that big drop. But now we're starting to show signs of another crossover to the upside if we continue to push to the upside. And we are going to have some resistance around that 415 level because of the 200 EMA. And from the MACD, it's starting to curl as well. So things are looking a little bit better ever since we got that nice bounce off 388. Now, for AMC, what does this mean? For APE, what on earth does this mean? Well, if you look at the charts and you compare them to what's going on with the overall market, we're getting a very similar trend right over here. So, obviously, AMC is a different stock from the overall market. It's very manipulated, but it has squeeze potential, right? And I'm not talking about the squeeze right now. I'm just talking about its day-to-day -day price action. And what I'm seeing is it's looking bullish. And here's why I feel that way. So right here, you guys could see we were on this downtrend. We got a big crossover from the MACD. AMC started to come down. We got a 1348 EMA cross. AMC came down even lower. But now when we zoom in, RSI is picking up. AMC bounced off $7.89. It's starting to push up harder. And now we're starting to see a curl right over here from that 13 EMA, which is going to move faster. So that could be a nice sign. And we could end up retesting that a 200 EMA, which would take us all the way up to the 11s very soon, in my honest opinion. MACD, OBV is pushing up with the RSI. And the MACD, right, it's not as open as before. It's trying to close right over here and get a big crossover. So once again, looking a lot better. For APE, same 
thing almost exactly. You could see Ape was coming down pretty hard. It bounced off $4.40. It's coming up. RSI is picking up more. OBV is picking up. And the MACD starting to curl again. So that's once again a pretty good sign. Um, I'm liking what the EMAs are doing. We're going to have some resistance around that $6 range if this thing does get a big rally like that. So from what I'm seeing, I am seeing some pretty good price action. Overall, AMC's volume is picking up a bit. It was like 16 million the day before. Now we're at like 34 million. So a bit of an, of an, an improvement, excuse me. And we are seeing this right over here, the short volume percentage is coming down, which means those with short positions, those are the individuals who are losing their hold on AMC. Uh, right here, offset exchange volume, basically like 56%, same as always, nothing too big from this end. I wanna just quickly look at APE right now and just show you guys what this is showing from Ape's side. And I think for Ape, 51% of trades only on off late exchanges. So it is manipulated too, but AMC actually made a slightly better move uh, overall. And Ape is also doing a little bit better. So another thing I'm seeing right now is as far as the option chain goes, we didn't have that bad of a day because when we look at what happened, 27,000 calls ended up in the money, 48,000 out the money. So it's not that horrible. Uh, somewhat of an improvement compared to before, especially after the big push we got. I'm hoping for a nice continuation. I'm hoping to see both Ape and AMC push to the upside. So for Ape, what I'm seeing for Ape is my next key target is going to be that $6 range. I want to see Ape break above that. And if we break past that, let me quickly use a Fibonacci retracement after I close these. Let me show you the key support and resistance levels for Ape. Then I'm going to get on with AMC. Um, right now, I think things are starting to improve. Market sentiment is improving too. And it, what we could do is we could take Ape like this. It depends on if we want to use its extreme all-time high or not. I mean, we could technically use that when using a Fibonacci retracement chart. So right here from this top all the way down to this low value, uh, we could put it in like this, very close. The next key zone is 5.83. I do think Ape is going to break past that. And then that $6 range is going to have some resistance. The next key zone after that would be 6.7. I could see Ape actually make it over there. For AMC, what am I essentially seeing? Well, what we could do is we could actually look at the retracement levels as well on AMC. I did draw out some support and resistance levels. I want to actually close these out, close everything out, then draw Fibonacci retracement. And you guys could see AMC was like really, really oversold. When it's this oversold and volume starts to die out, that's when we anticipate some bounces and that's what this is showing signs of. So let's start from this peak right about here. It doesn't matter exactly where it is, but as long as we're pretty close and we come to like this range right here, AMC has resistance at $9.97, which is about 10 bucks a share. That's the next resistance level. We break past that, that then $11.26 is where we could see AMC seeing resistance. And I do think AMC is going to test this range as soon as Monday. I think it's very possible for AMC to break past $10, start pushing, and we could end up touching 11 maybe come a little down and close around $11 a share. For APE, I see something similar. Like I mentioned, I think both of them are going to push up with the market a bit. And the only thing really slowing us down, at least for the short term, would be CPI coming out. So please be prepared for that. If something happens unexpectedly, the market could take a hit after Tuesday. But we're not at Tuesday yet. Right now, we're just on uh, Monday. So let's just wait and see how this really goes. I am anticipating more upside. That's essentially what I have for this one. Thank you all so much for listening. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright and peace out.